Hello and welcome back to Tinga Winger 5. Today we're going to be looking at a solid state drive, more specifically the Samsung 840 Pro series. I've picked up the 256GB model, there is no performance difference between that and the 512GB model. The only difference you get is storage size and I only plan to use this for a boot drive. Now if we fight with this packaging for a little while, we eventually get a knife in there and cut this seal, we can actually get the box open and have a look at what's inside. So we get this nice plastic tray with a solid state drive in it. As I said before, it is the 256 gigabyte model. It is SATA 3 speeds and it is actually really light. Solid state drives always surprise me how light they are. Being called solid state, you might think it's quite heavy, but it's not. Uh, we also have this installation guide which tells you how to put it in something and well, it's no use because every laptop's different and every desktop, well, you're going to have custom mounting trays in some and well, it's just pointless. There is very little need in having these, but I guess they have to. Apparently there's a warning symbol about those. Uh, you get two stickers and a barcode. I'm not sure what the barcode sticker is for. Also a couple more manuals and of course the software disk. And we'll come to the software in a bit but this is actually quite interesting. I did a boot time. What I did, I installed Windows to the solid state drive and then cloned it over to the hard drive. They are running the exact same version of Windows. There is no difference, no updates, no nothing. They have no access to the internet. We have hard drive, solid state drive. Solid state drive currently ahead but watch that. Hard drive comes back, but then solid state drive pretty much jumps over the finish line. Hard drive stays on a black screen for ages. And 25 seconds exactly, solid state drive is done. The what was the hourglass, now the swirly thing, has finished. And I actually sped up the hard drive time four times. And we're still not done. We're still not done. And as you can see on your screen, it took over a minute. Now this is the software that comes with the solid state drive, it's actually really good stuff, I'm sorry about the frame rate, it's come out very strangely. Uh, so we've got OS optimization. it tells you it's SATA, SATA 3 with 6 gigabits, you can benchmark your drive, so you can benchmark the hard drive against the solid state drive. Through this utility you can also update the firmware, and you can verify it's a genuine solid state drive. Optimizing the OS, well, I might have made a difference, I'm not really sure in fairness. And, of course, you can securely erase this. This was done from the hard drive, I should say. But it all works, and it's all connected, which is a good sign. Now, what you need to do with a solid-state drive, pick a folder that changes a lot, so it's your downloads folder, and if you right-click on it, you can actually move it somewhere else. So I moved it to a downloads folder on what is F drive. Because of limited space on your solid-state drive, it's quite important that you do this, especially if you have multiple drives and plans of video edit on them. Uh, there is also a performance advantage, you will keep your solid state drive nice and fresh as you won't be writing to it all the time. Uh, thank you for watching everyone, I'm sorry it's been so long since I made a video.